Welcome back. It's time for your business news. We are joined by the ever so lovely Mike Apple standing by. Mike, yesterday I got some tweets saying, where's Mike Apple? Where's Mike Apple? So we've changed your time. We've bumped you up a little bit earlier on in the morning. So in case uh, anyone's wondering, this is now your slot. This gotta is it. Got to get earlier. Gotta you get got up it. earlier. <laughs> Good morning, Mike. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm all right. Thank you. Good. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Nice fresh morning. Nice, nice to be outside. And, and, and you're, yeah, you're outside. And so I'm going to move the set outside tomorrow, I think. The weather's nice. You know, so we'll... I feel like people would like to know what's in your backyard, Mike, what it looks like. And <laughs> I don't know. Give us, give us something. Surprise us tomorrow. All right, we'll, at this we'll, time. we'll try to make that happen. Good stuff. All right. Let's have begin. to run upstairs. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the numbers now. Uh, the market, it's a rolling on, as you say. Yeah, sure is. Uh, you know, if you're in the uh, tech space right now, you're pretty happy because, uh, you know, of, of all things, so 2020, we're in the midst of a recession. We've got a pandemic. Uh, you know, no one knows exactly how this is all going to work out on the recovery side. And yet, oh, look, the markets are at record highs. Uh, the Nasdaq hit an all time high yesterday. Tesla was up nine and a half percent. Amazon up seven percent. 7% jump for Amazon, for example, that added $13 billion to Jeff Bezos' net worth. That's a record in and of itself in a single day. It just keeps feeding on itself here, Melanie. Another announcement this morning of economic stimulus coming out of the European Union, a trillion dollar spending plan there. That's part of the catalyst. We had vaccine hopes on Monday that had the markets way up continuing that trend this morning. So there's a lot of momentum here. You, you're not getting anything in the bond trade. You're not getting anything on GICs. And what are we doing? Mm -hmm. We're still watching Netflix, buying things on Amazon, maybe driving electric cars. There is some rationale behind it. And right now, it doesn't look like it's slowing down. No. Uh, what we continue to watch, though, are job cuts. Uh, the latest uh, victim here yeah. being LinkedIn. Well, that's interesting of itself because LinkedIn is a you know Online. a platform where you look for jobs yeah. or get recruited, right? So, with the global economy in the midst of a slowdown and the labor market struggling along, LinkedIn, owned by Microsoft, is now cutting uh, jobs uh, by about a thousand, which is six percent. You know, so it's this ripple effect that we're seeing here uh, as we go through this, where even companies where you are in the tech space, in this case. They got to adjust too. Um, Mike, you put this into your business uh, report, and this is like the competitor to TikTok. And so, you know, once you explain the story, I'm going to need you to do some show and tell. But let's start with what the story is first. <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. And then we'll go from there. All right. Okay, so um, Instagram mm -hmm. is working on a competitor to TikTok. It's called Instagram Reels. And for the record, I have seen TikTok, my kids use TikTok. I do not use TikTok. Come on. What is what a surprise. Mel, you're always <laughs> trying to get me to do all these things and I don't do them. It's like you throw me on Instagram and now I got to post things. It's like, oh, great. But wait, no, 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 no Mike, you don't I'm ever kidding. have to I'm post kidding. anything. I feel like you want to post things. You no, do. You know you do. I don't. I pictures. don't because, well, that, okay, well, that I can do. See? That's fine. Uh, <laughs> and pictures of my pets. Yes. Anyway, yeah, so, okay, so TikTok, of course, has been in the, uh, you know, crosshairs of the U.S. government, uh, owned out of China, yep. so that may be a, a way for Facebook, which owns Instagram, to get into this, you know, very popular uh, social media platform uh, sector, you know, if, if in fact, but then Facebook's got its own issues, right? So, so <laughs> you, you wonder where, where business and politics kind of coalesce. Absolutely. And I think a lot of people are going to wonder how the reels work. Is this is it available now? It's being tested, tested. I believe, in okay. India to start, and then they're going to roll it out slowly. But uh, you got to figure it's going to come at some point with a massive marketing push and then even more things to uh, spend time on. You got it. Well, now, now's <laughs> with, the time to roll with, it out, with, right? With, well, you know, it's it, you're not wrong. You know, what have kids been doing? And adults, too. I get that. Over the, the course of this thing, they've been spending time doing uh, funny videos and then it catches on and goes viral and all this stuff, Sure. Right? Okay, so you practice some moves, you come on back tomorrow <laughs> in your backyard and we'll do it all again, okay? Oh, no, here we go. Thanks, Thank Mike. you. Have a great day. Set me up. Okay, you too.